All right, a hyper tough pipe wrench, brand new from the store, just for you guys. This is starting to get like an Edward Sarkisian video here. We're gonna give it a try, see what it'll do against the one ounce Foster Slug. Okay, shotgun slug versus Walmart pipe wrench. Okay, I'm ready when you are. You Holy! I'd say the foster slug won. I think so. All right, let's review the high-speed camera footage. Traveling at around 1,100 miles per hour, here comes our one-ounce foster slug and whammo the big old lead slug pretty much disintegrated on impact but not without taking out almost every single part of that pipe wrench the little pieces were scattered all over the place we tried to recover as much as possible but some of them were just lost okay let's let's look at how well the hyper tough hyper tough 14 inch pipe wrench here it we go. Right, it says right there it's drop forged. So that must mean it's hyper tough. So that's about where the wheel was. We call it a knurly knob. A knurly knob or yeah. a, a grip spinner. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> or a hot full of doodle. <laughs> <Just was a. laughs> so if you come around the back though. Turn it, turn it, rotate it around. Oh, let me come, let me rotate it. Oh, what am I, Vanna White here? Yes. Okay, so oh my. Look at this. As this piece of drop forged steel was blasting out the back it took the whole back of this cheap cheap pot metal casing with it it's cast iron and cast iron iron so there it yeah, is. i thought it would survive that oh um, look it's got measurements on it yep it's all metric well there you go i guess uh not good for home defense <laughs> It's not even good for home to home chores. <laughs> oh, he might be able to use it as a hammer a couple times. Maybe you <laughs> yeah. can take it back, you know? <laughs> That's true. Walmart returns anything. It's, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> I dropped this. I dropped this in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. There's your tool. Tool Destruction Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to come up with a catchier name than that. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Just this week, YouTube has come out with some new rules pertaining to firearm channels. Now, I never got a notification. I never got an email from my uh, YouTube partner manager or anything like that. It was just word of mouth. Somebody learned about these rules, told a friend, and they told a friend. Now, it's rather ridiculous to rely on word of mouth to get these very important rules out to content creators. I'm not really sure how these new rules will affect our channel. Uh, a lot of it has to do with building an AR-15 and uh, bump stocks and high capacity magazines. Also it seems to include putting links in the description to where people can buy uh, firearms and accessories. But you can still go on Google which owns YouTube do a search for a certain gun shop or ammo manufacturer and those still pop up. Who knows how long that will last though. Now obviously YouTube is trying to be proactive in trying to save the world or something by omitting certain information on the internet. It's, it's kind of silly when you think about it. The people that do these horrific crimes are not motivated by YouTube videos of how, how to reload ammunition or anything like that. They're motivated by the attention the media gives them each time one of these crimes happens. There are people willing to do anything for attention. They will compromise their dignity. They will exploit their kids and put them in videos. They will film themselves driving at ridiculously dangerous speeds, post videos of, of dangerous stunts, and those ridiculously harmful challenges that we've seen through the years. People looking for that opium called attention will do anything. They'll harm themselves and sadly they will harm other people just to get that attention and notoriety. Now while I have a link in the description of the new rules 
Um, at this point, they're rather vague, and we're trying to interpret them and get a clarification from YouTube. 